How's everybody doing? It's been a minute since I've had the opportunity to have sunlight to be able to get out and show off a few more of the 2024s that are on the lot. Right now, what's behind me is a 2024 Flagstaff. This is going to be a 26 FK BS front kitchen. You can see already there's a lot that we can cover with this particular one. You're around 30 feet in length and then our dry weight is going to be over 6,800 pounds. So not too big, not too small, not too heavy, not too light. Kind of one of those nice in-betweens, especially for a couple that really doesn't want to skimp too much with their amenities. So we're going to dive in and see what we can find out about this particular Flagstaff. So as is the case with Flagstaff, they do their own thing in their own place. Definitely encourage you to look up Millersburg, Indiana, kind of the history behind Flagstaff and Rockwood as well, because Rockwood is a sister brand to Flagstaff. The only thing that's really gonna ever change between those two is going to be the graphics, a little bit of coloring here and there, and that's about it. So right off the bat, up front, fiberglass front cap with a windshield. And this follows suit with their classic line, their super light, the micro light, and then the E Pros all have that front fiberglass cap and windshield. 30 pound propane tanks, electric ton jack, and you are going to see electric stabilizers. As we get into the super lights and the classics, there are some options sometimes about auto level. So if you're looking for something that would be extremely easy to set up, definitely check that out. They always include a double box for your batteries. So that's why it's a wider box than normal. And they normally include the parallel cabling that's going to go with that, okay? Lights on the front. Slide toppers are already installed here above this slide. Tinted windows throughout. Believe it or not, I believe that front windshield, the blind is actually open. So you can see how dark that actually is. A lot of privacy that can be had. Double slide on our roadside and frameless windows coming across if you look for the cap with the yellow indicator that means tire pressure monitor is installed on the rim a rack and pinion slide but look how nicely finished off that underside actually is nothing extra hanging down very nice and tidy now our drains are a little bit out of the way not too bad and they are going to be gate exposed so that's something to keep in mind Flagstaff puts on tank heaters for a four season capable, but you do want to try to insulate that if you are going to be out in extreme or long term weather. Some outdoor storage. You can see the aluminum framing that they do on anything that is weight bearing. And then we have magnetic holdbacks, slam latches, make things as easy as possible full-size spare with the cover on the back and that spare is plastic walkable roof because of the ladder that's installed notice that ladder goes up and over so it's a little easier to get up and down off that top now they do include a rear hitch that is not for towing and it's going to be a 300 pound vertical weight limit and then our connections here on the campsite at the back black flesh and all that is together the only thing i wish they would go ahead and add is to separate the city water connection to be white the other things to be black lights there to make things a little easier too and then all of our stabilizers underneath are push button electric let's see if i can yep and then quick connect for our shower gravity fill there and then a really big awning easy way to know how big it really is even in a video if you see that center holder to take the weight off stairs obvious and if you look under a flagstaff oh, <laughs> that's not going to help us there if you look under a flagstaff at the axles you're going to see that we are not with leaf springs that is a torsion axle and then this rail same kind of thing flagstaff does this this rail is for the included griddle. More than likely, this griddle is going to be stuffed in the front storage. Yep. So griddle be in this box, cast iron top. There's an additional table that goes with it too. 
and we have access to some plumbing in the front here they do a dual water heater so electric and gas no tankless at this point which with a lot of people is perfectly fine you're still going to have a quick recovery with it being dual so let's hop in and check out the inside and before we step up into this 26 fk if you see a three stair four stair with this addition that means that your stairs can do this why does that matter it takes the weight off that's the big thing so if you don't want to fight with the stairs if you don't want to worry about them coming down and hitting you in the face makes things a lot simpler as we step in controls are directly to our right we're gonna get our interior turned on there's our step light bedroom light check out what Flagstaff has done with this front kitchen really the focal point to the immediate right Coleman AC is done in this particular camper it's a 50 amp so you're gonna have two of those one in the bedroom one up front kitchen is gonna feature those solid wood front cabinets Blackstaff and Rockwood are known for look how well they're finished off even on the inside known for being Amish built check out Millersburg Indiana to see how that kind of legacy goes three burner top stove combo now our sink is not a split still a farmhouse style for us there but look how much counter space we have behind and around besides off to the side easily set up air fryer coffee maker to the side this is going to be our inverter control anything flag staff does not come just prepped but the inverter is actually installed and you notice outside i mentioned that front glass is in or excuse me is tinted so without the lights on, on the inside you cannot see it from the outside in a lot of privacy but still had that view 12 volt fridge this 12 volt is a little bit different than years past because this one you can technically open from either side technically though if you pull both sides open at the same time that entire door is going to come off in your hands i'm a little bit mixed on that but so far it's done well for a lot of people dinette with that removable table so you can actually take that outside lining above that just a single push button here and i don't like how deep these seats actually are someone that wants to lounge just a little can do so this can be made down for bedding oversized kind of chase lounge effect obviously tv and soundbar installed that soundbar is now your radio head so it's going to be your bluetooth connection for the indoor and outdoor speakers both just makes things simpler for them and then fireplace beneath cannot turn that on so we don't have a 110 running to this camper at the moment now the theater seats have changed from previous years we have wireless charging in the center which is amazing very simple storage in the center no more electric seat no more massage and heat and that's kind of the industry trend to make these a little bit more plush in how they feel and not necessarily the amenities they have make them last better for you guys Additional storage at the front. Most are going to call this pantry, but with shoe storage and being able to take these shelves out, you can kind of do as you need to with this. Very modular, which is nice to see. We are heated and enclosed underneath. You can see where those vents for the heater are going to be coming out. And then before we walk too far, our shades do feature 50% and full knockout with nice balance. I'm waiting to see them actually go down the side walls. They haven't done that except for in the bedroom. Queen bed. Bed is on a slide. Some people want king. On this particular slide setup, it becomes a little bit heavy with the box and the mattress both. So that's why they recommend not tossing a king mattress into a slide like this that's meant for a queen Reading lights above, check out that headboard, those side balances again I was talking about. 
And then we do have storage underneath as well as pull out drawers, which is pretty awesome. 12 volt connections, but you do have a 110 on each side for those with CPAP or other things you need to have in place. Huge glass or mirrored wardrobe, sliding doors. You see how high that bar is. So down to about here is going to be where your clothes will actually hang. So that's only about half of the available space. Easily add cubbies or other things to hold anything else you would need. Solar is on top. There's our solar charge controller. So you don't have to worry about maintaining that battery. And then our bathroom won't be as big as the bedroom. They did not skimp very much, if at all, here. I see plenty of space for someone 6'4 and above to be able to get their knees in and around and with the double doors, you know, with a good amount of privacy. Radius shower with those doors. The only kind of kooky thing is going to be the way that this linen is done because the entertainment center and fireplace is behind this wall. This is at an angle. As you can tell, it tapers back to make the best with that particular space. Now on the shower, I am just over 5'10", and if you are looking at my head, more than clear, I'm going to be extremely comfortable at 5'10", so when it's 6 feet, you're starting to get a little pushed, 6'2", you're maxed out, above 6'4", you're going to be up into that top there. One more shot to kind of come around. So as I said, you still have linen storage here. Medicine cabinet is still functional as well. Max air fan is up there too. And then there is our 26 FK BS with, again, the focal point being this front kitchen. For those that do want to entertain a little bit, you'll be able to go inside, outside very easily and have plenty of prep space inside before you actually get everything outside. What a lot of people forget, and I did the same thing when I first started camping, was bugs like food. So if you take that outside, they're immediately going to be trying to get to it. So it's a lot easier to prep everything on the inside. Everything's here. Fireplace for supplemental heat. Nice two AC, particularly camper, and all these other amenities. Besides just the overall quality, your roof here is going to be a laminated roof so you have five side lamination plus their flooring and everything else in between Frameless windows outside smooth as Dale and a ton of other features like that suspension from Dexter there's a torsion axle fiberglass front cap you see where I'm going on and on and on big thing here it is set up for couples plus one so if you do have a teenager you do have a place for them and that can kind of let you right out those additional years as they get into college age or even beyond or if you have just that one more adult that sometimes travels with you you do have a place for them to sleep or just call it as is as a couple's camper with a dinette so let me know what you guys think on this as always I appreciate you watching any video that I do I try to do the best I can for you guys let me know what you think give me a comment give me a like give me a subscribe and if you want to see it in person reach out